All right, and now on to the crisis that the country is currently witnessing. Three people have died due to flash floods in the Taveta region of Taita Taveta County. The Kenya Red Cross has been dispatched to these areas as 40,000 households have been displaced due to the crisis. As Kizia Masha reports, the government has issued a warning to residents of Garissa and Tana River concerning potential spills from the seven folk dams, urging them to take necessary precautions. The government has cautioned people living downstream of Kiambere Dam to move to higher grounds as Kamburu Dam could overflow any time, in turn leading to spillage from Kiambere Dam. <laughs> Contrary to Kenjan's prediction last week that Masinga Dam could still hold water for the next four months, CS Chirchir has said that it could spill in the next week. As of last night, Kamburu Dam levels were at 1,005.82 meters above sea level against a maximum capacity of 1,006.5 meters above sea level. We have witnessed a big jump this week at Kamburu, and we expect that uh, we will be reaching the maximum levels either over the weekend, this weekend now, or early next week, should the water's inflows remain as they are now. Garissa Township Member of Parliament Deko Baro urged the government to hasten the construction of the High Grand Multipurpose Dam to help alleviate the flooding crisis in the county. As the situation is now, Garissa is already flooded. A quarter of the old town of Garissa, those who know, is underwater. So our biggest fear was if these dams get filled, overflows, and then uh, water is released into the main river, then it means we'll have a very difficult uh, situation in Garissa. Speaking at Masinga Dam on a fact-finding mission, Energy CS Chirchir say the government is working with all stakeholders and has activated all the emergency response units, adding that they are monitoring the water levels on a daily basis. He said with the current rains, Masinga Dam that has been shut to maximize water storage might spill in a week's time. And that is why when I say that uh, we are monitoring on a daily basis, uh, these guys will tell you in the morning, we were here, we are now here. And we are not just talking, we keep records. And that information informs us and informs the government on preparation and uh, mitigation measures. In Taita Taveta County, three people have been reported dead after flash floods in Taveta. The situation attributed to the flow of flood waters from the Kilimanjaro region. Response team from Red Cross and the county have been dispatched to the areas affected. We continue to urge those living pro uh, proximately to major rivers and dams to remain alert and relocate to higher grounds if necessary to prevent any potential loss of li lives and property. This morning, the Red Cross posted on its social media handles that a bridge had been partly washed away along the Malindi Kilifi Mombasa Highway, effectively interrupting transport. The road is said to be impassable at Mtondia and Bogolo. The Red Cross says the current floods pose a threat to more than 470,000 Kenyans.